Welcome to our video tutorial for Acronis True Image. This first video will take you on a short tour through the software. It provides an insight into the main functions. You can find a more detailed introduction of important features in further video tutorials. Acronis True Image is a professional software for backup and disaster recovery. Please study the manual for detailed background information or consult the context sensitive help which you can find here. The purpose of Acronis True Image is to back up and restore all information on your PC including the operating system, configuration data, applications and personal files such as photos, music files and even Outlook data. Using the integrated migration tool you can easily manage hard disk drives for example, you can transfer your files from an old to a new larger hard disk. As you can see on the Acronis website, there are different True Image products. Whereas home versions are tailored to fit consumer needs, there are various server products for corporate solutions. Using the features of all Acronis True Image products works in the same way. You can use two different backup strategies when working with Acronis True Image File Backup and Disk Imaging. Using Disk Imaging, you can secure complete hard disks and partitions at once. Using File Backup, you can specify files and directories. The Disk Imaging technology creates an exact image of a hard drive partition, sector by sector. This includes important information about the file system and partitioning. Images are stored as backup archives files. You can put these files on miscellaneous storage devices. In the Windows Explorer, you can see such a backup archive file. Typical storage devices are fixed hard disks, CD or DVD writers, USB sticks, mobile hard disk or even networked attached storage devices. In further video tutorials you can learn more about storage devices and the proper backup strategy. In this video tutorial you are learning more about the basic principles of and handling with Acronis True Image. Let's have a deeper insight into the product. Acronis True Image can be used easily and intuitively. Important functions are invoked by the appropriate menu items or corresponding icons. Wizards guide you through all main processes. The graphical user interface is organized into two major areas, sidebar and main area. Using the left sidebar, you can access important functions by category, special operations and the help system. You can start main functions like backup, restore and the administration of tasks in the main area. You can prepare backup or recovery tasks now and finally execute them all in one go. Typically tasks are reoccurring and time controlled operations that are carried out autonomously. You can compare them with macros. Using the back button or choosing another category in the side pane, you can exit the task management area. Let's now step to the operation principles. Generally, Acronis True Image is based on wizards. For demonstration, we will watch the wizard for cloning hard disk drives. You can find this operation in the category Hard Disk Management. Therefore, We've prepared another test system with a brand new hard disk to which we switch now and start the appropriate wizard. Before we get going, please let me bring in a side note. You can scale the wizard dialogues of Acronis True Image with your mouse. In this way, you can adapt the visible area of the dialogue to the specific resolution of your monitor and your font size. Handling with wizards follows common procedures, as you know from Windows. Using the Next button, you can click your way through the process step by step. Simply choose between the given options and answer the questions. 
In our case, you now need to choose the appropriate type of cloning. You can select between automatic or user defined. Then you select the source and the destination hard disk drive. In the end, selected options are listed on a results page. In our case, data from an old hard disk drive will be transferred to a new one. The last step is to complete the wizard and to carry out the task. By the way, after cloning, you have to reboot your PC. If you want to clone a system disk with an operating system, you should use an Acronis True Image Emergency Disk for this task. It's not necessary to watch the copy operation until completion, so we can switch to our first demonstration system. Although explained in detail in one of the following video tutorials, I'd now like to introduce you to two key features of Acronis True Image. Acronis Secure Zone and Acronis Startup Recovery Manager. You can find these items in the left pane. We'll have an in-depth view in one of the following video tutorials. Let's just have a short overview right now. The Acronis Secure Zone is a hidden area on an internal hard disk drive that contains backup archive files. Additionally, it can be protected with a password. It presents the key technology of Acronis. You can boot from one of these archives using the Acronis Startup Recovery Manager. On pressing F11, an independent and exclusive Acronis True Image session is executed and you can load an archive. To clarify this cutting edge technology, we've prepared a third test system. Here you can see the boot menu of Acronis Startup Recovery Manager that is used to start an Acronis True Image session. In worst case scenarios, for example when the operating system does not start anymore due to a severe failure, you can restore your system in this way. While the session is starting, we have time to change to our first test system to mention the possibility of using bootable emergency disks. Additionally, you can start an Acronis True Image session, Windows independently, using emergency disks. Usually, you would utilize CD or DVD media. For regular use, it is more convenient to let Acronis Startup Recovery Manager install a boot manager on the internal system hard disk drive. As mentioned before, you can have a more detailed look at this feature in further video tutorials. Let's go back to our third test system. Now the Acronis True Image session has initialized completely. Please note the similarity to an ordinary Windows system. Although this session works on a Linux-based system, it provides all essential Windows functions. And wizards guide you through the process. You can perform backup and recovery tasks directly from this interface. This procedure is particularly important in worst case scenarios. For example, system boot failures. For now, this first overview should suffice. Let's change to our first test system and finalize this introductory video tutorial. In the following video tutorials, we will learn more about the different backup strategies of Acronis True Image. In addition, we will show you the required preparations for a perfect data backup.